You're listening to the Intuitive Mastery Podcast. Hi, I'm Kate Connolly, and with over 15 years of intuitive healing and teaching experience, I'm here to help you celebrate intuition and value authenticity to create a world where you have the freedom to live your best life. This podcast is here to teach you how to apply the principles of spirituality, healing, and mindset to have true and lasting joy all from the inside out. This is the Intuitive Mastery Podcast. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Intuitive Mastery Podcast. My name is Kate Connolly, and I'm really excited to share all my information with you. Um, I run an intuitive mastery school, which I do online, and it's a really wonderful uh, forum for people to get together and learn all about their intuition, but also more importantly, learn about what blocks they might have, what healing might be required. And we go through all sorts of different themes. For example, we might go through at the moment, we're going through relationships um, and intuition and how to intuitively gauge and work through our relationships. So if you would like to join, you are more than welcome. There is a link underneath um, and we have a two weeks free trial for anyone who's really interested in joining us. So today I wanted to talk to you today about responsibility. We started covering this in our Intuitive Mastery School um, this week and I wanted to cover it because there's a really fascinating um, energy with responsibility. People seem to take either extreme and it's relatively rare that people take a 5D or higher vibrational view of responsibility. So when we're talking about responsibility, we're talking not about, um, oh my goodness, I need to take control of everything and everything is my fault and everything that everyone does is my responsibility. That's not what I'm talking about. We have two different versions of responsibility. There's like a 3D version, which is kind of more along the lines of, you know, everyone else's behavior is my fault. Everything that happens in my life is my responsibility, even though that's a level of truth to that according to our vibration. But if I then take my husband's best friend's behavior as my responsibility, if I then take the fight that my daughter had with her friend as my responsibility, if I take the arguments that my children have as my responsibility from a I need to come and rescue and fix it perspective, then we're going to land ourselves in some trouble. We're going to take on way too much responsibility for ourselves. We step into a place of over-responsibility and sometimes like a level of martyrdom And then we find it really, really tricky to come back from that because once we're stuck in that role of rescuer, once we're stuck in that role of needing to fix everyone else's stuff, we do one of two things to ourselves. The first thing that we do is that we overburden ourselves with everybody else's stuff. And energetically, that actually feels really, really heavy. And the ability for us to then kind of let go of that and not actually kind of take it on on a regular basis is actually extremely tricky. Once we take on um, an energy or a dynamic within a relationship, once we kind of establish that, it's actually really hard to change it. So once you jump in as a rescuer, especially at the beginning of a relationship, then people do actually honestly expect that to continue. And that burden and the pressure that comes on you is actually quite enormous. Undoing that can take quite a lot of energy. And don't worry, if you're already in that situation, that is possible to kind of shift out of that. But it is actually really important to remember that it's not all about the pressure of trying to fix your world around you. So that's kind of like the 3D version of responsibility. And now we also have a 5D version, which is this more highly vibrational energy. And it talks about the concept that we have the ability and the mandate actually to hold space for our relationships. We have the ability and the mandate to create intentions, how we want them to feel, how we want them to be. And we also have the ability to create that space and hold that space in our lives. So intuitively, if we want to tune into close relationships and we could start with ourselves, if we start with ourselves along the lines of how do I feel about myself currently, 
but how do I want to feel about myself? It is actually really important to get really clear on what that looks like and feels like because then that creates and that starts to create a really conscious intention that you can then choose to bring into manifestation. So for example, if your current feelings about yourself is something along the lines of I'm frustrated with myself, I get lazy, I get bored, um, I don't finish anything, whatever those constant current thoughts are about yourself. When we throw that around and around and around and around in our mind on a several several times a day, we do end up kind of getting stuck there and we don't tend to move forward. If we acknowledge and understand that these are some thought patterns that can come in and we can send some oneness, forgiveness and love to those energies, then we get into a place where we can actually start to create a better, a better way of being. So we honor and acknowledge that up until now, our thoughts and feelings have been around all of these things that keep us stuck in patterns. And then we can choose to create a new intention. How is it that you really want to feel about yourself? And what are the energies that you want to call in for how you want to be in the world? And that might be, I want to have integrity, I want to feel joy, I want to have a sense of love in my life. All of those things actually contribute to how you then start to show up for yourself. And the responsibility from a 5D higher vibrational perspective is what I choose to call in for myself is the intention that I'm creating for my life. And what I choose to call in for myself today is what's going to become my reality tomorrow. So calling in that energy and creating an energetic vortex for yourself around what that looks like is actually really powerful. So if we can learn how to do that for ourselves, then we can start to learn to do that for our relationships as well. How do I feel about my partner if I'm partnered? How do they make me feel? What does the dynamic of the relationship feel like? currently and what do I want it to feel like? Never underestimate the power of how important and how incredibly impactful it can be to create really strong intentions but also to energetically set that up. So you can energetically set up a really beautiful energy for you and your partner, you create a vortex for yourselves and you start to bring in the intentions of how to do that what you want it to feel like, how you want to feel in the relationship. I want to feel loved. I want to feel respected. I want to feel a sense of belonging. I want to feel peace. Whatever those energies are that you want to feel in your relationship, you can start to kind of tune into it, get really clear on what you want and then call it in. And then if you want to make it even bigger than that, you set the intention for your family and you create a vortex or an intentional energy for your family. And then you can make this as big as you want. You can do it with clients. You can do it with uh, relationships that you have in the office. You can do it with groups of people. You can do it with groups that you might be facilitating or that you might be a part of. There's no kind of end to what this looks like. And what I find really powerful about these intentions is that we are choosing to take responsibility for A, how we show up in it but be what our intentions are and what it is that we want to create in those relationships. That is the highest possible energy of of responsibility. It is consciously tuning into creating and then forming relationships based on your knowing, your intuition, your intention, and your manifesting. And every time things start to go a little bit skew if you go back to this vortex of energy and you call in exactly what it is that you're asking for. Too often we get really stuck in where we've been and what's happened. You know, I had a really bad fight with my partner the other day and we're still not talking to each other and he or she or they doesn't do blah, 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 blah for me and they don't think about me with these things and blah, blah, blah. And we get into these constant dialogues with ourselves about how it is that we think it needs to be. And then we get lost. We get lost in that. And what we don't realize is that we then 
create that as our intention and that becomes how we move forward. So we've gone from either a state of over-responsibility where we feel like we've got to fix every tiny little thing. And the other side of that is it's everybody else's fault. I'm not taking responsibility at all. I'm just blaming the other person. And yes, the other person may have done X, Y, Z that wasn't in integrity, that might have been hurtful, that might have, you know, struck a wrong chord or might have been bringing in bad energies or whatever it is, or they might have been influenced by, you know, their childhood, their, their past wounds, whatever, that we can create whatever story we want around someone else's behavior. And I know that for most humans, that's what we do. This is what happened. This is the story. This is why we think they've behaved so badly. And let's just hang our hat there and do nothing about it. I mean, if we want to fix our relationships, if we want our relationships to thrive, if we want to be really intentional with how we show up, there's no responsibility in that. And this is where we start to come undone. And responsibility could be something really, really small, like, I know that this happened. I know you must have been hurting. I'm really sorry for my, you know, part in that. I might, you know, have shown up with the wrong energy myself. I might have, you know, gaslit you unintentionally. I might have, you know, impacted how you showed up that way. Um, For my part in it, I own it. And how can I love you through this so that we can get back to our intentional reality? And that can be one of the biggest icebreakers of all. We're coming from a place of responsibility, vulnerability, connection, and we're coming back to that intention of this is what I want to have for my relationship. It can be a bit of a tricky thing to move through because one of the biggest things that we need to move past and go through is our ego. And our egos are usually the ones that want to stick to the story and they want to apportion blame. And the blame is usually outside of ourselves or we go into such a state of self-bashing that we go into this over, over, over responsibility and then we don't kind of create a level of Um, even playing field. If we get over responsible, then we tend to get, let other people off the hook with their own behavior. And then if we go straight into our ego and the story and we try and apportion blame to the other person, then we're not showing up with any level of responsibility either. And it can get quite confusing, I guess, but ultimately at the end of the day, the most important thing is our intention our ability to show up and be responsible for our own behavior and then energetically set up the container. And you can do that anytime you want. You can do that however you want. You can set the intention very, very easily and you can sit in a place of conscious creation. You can call in energies that help you. You can set up a vortex or a container of energy for your relationship. You can make it look however you want to. And then you can call in the intention that you want to have for your relationship. And do that as often as you want to. It can You could do it five times a day if you need, especially if things are not in a great place. And usually in those containers, you're much more likely to let go of the story and to let go of the ego and to let go of needing to apportion blame anywhere. And you can go just directly into your knowing of this is what I want to create. This is the life that I want to have. And every single time you reinforce that energetic container, you create strength and balance in your relationship. And it's a very, very powerful thing. When you're trying to set these up, just remember that it can take time. It's not always something that is set up instantaneously, although sometimes it is. But the most important thing is to just remember to be really gentle with yourself. Remember and ask yourself maybe, am I being over-responsible here? Am I throwing blame out or am I creating balance? 
and start to get some perspective and get curious about how you're actually showing up in your relationships and see how you can start to create things from a more intentional place. I hope that was really helpful today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will be back next week. We are working through this beautiful, big relationship series in the Intuitive Mastery School. So if you want to join us, you're more than welcome. Um, And I will be here with more content next week. Take care. See you next time.